<laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing sideboarding in this list so far. I know this is probably fine. It's an interesting hand. If I draw yellow, this is really good. If I pitch the premeditate, there's also the safe line of just going tall. Let's try drawing a yellow. It's not a yellow. Hmm. All right, we'll grab a battering bolt. Can't afford the aim counter, and then we're going to go up to nine dominate. We'll see how many traps he's running. Seeing Iron Rock Gauntlet makes me think that it's going to be a lot of traps. And then obviously Dominate with Inertia is a pretty good shot at doing something good here. Uh, disrupting his next turn. I am leaving myself with no arsenal, but... All right. Wow. Oh. I'll just take three there. Jeez. That is a lot of traps. All right. So, very heavy traps is the conclusion here. Hmm. Well, that's not good. And that's what I get for going with no arsenal. I imagine he's just going to fire this hemorrhage bore and I'll get to sink below it. I think I'm sinking the dead eye. Could also sink the E strike and be greedy. If I draw yellow, it becomes potentially quite good. This is fine. I'm short on pitch. I don't know. These lines are just weird to me, and I feel like I'm getting a lot of them wrong. It's just the battering bolt with Deadeye. No, I can't afford the aim counter. It's no Deadeye, just Arsenal the E-Strike. Hmm. Let's try arsenaling the Deadeye. I 
I have a sneaking suspicion that he's going to be able to block it, but we did get four armor on the last one. Hopefully this works. Mm. We'll tunic for the tripwire. This deck's going to get annoying, isn't it? Yeah, because Dominate just isn't good enough here. So it looks like he's going to just be able to stop from Arsenal. Sure, we'll put the game counter on it. Then this will let me... Um, So hopefully let me set something up here. Yes, yeah, so the frailties. Oh, this doesn't have go again, never mind. So do get to put a minus one, I guess, on the horizon. <laughs> These hands. Not quite what I'm looking for. Yeah, I have a feeling this isn't going to hit. <laughs> My opponent's played seven D-Reacts and an arrow. Slightly uh, annoying, but it's more so just like I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to approach this. Ooh. Oh. I think because I already have multiple arrows, I'm just going to arsenal this one. Where are all my buffs? Uh, actually, no, I need... No, it's actually got to be this. I can't. I only have two Remorseless in the list. I think I need to keep them.
Hmm. 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 Why do I feel like there's going to be like 0% chance that this actually hits? Okay, we do have a buff on top, another Bolton shot. Don't really want the other Bolton shot. We'll leave that on top, though. We were able to tuck both, um, both remorseless though. Sadly, they're right next to each other in the pitch, which is a little concerning. So I left a buff on top. Do want to pay for this. I think I'm going to give him the infecting shot. A lot of arrows on the bottom, but I'd like to try and do something here. Okay. Fighting spirit is high value, and blood rot trap is just a block three, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, there's the rain razors. Seek. I don't have tunic up though, so this makes this hand a little awkward. And I wish I had tunic up. We're gonna bottom it because I need to get buffs down into that stack right now. Okay, the inertia tokens actually, or the inertia is actually fine because I plan on sending the entire hand here. So we'll save the. Actually, I should have saved the spire sniping probably. This is fine. Yeah, this would have been a lot more damage had I had a buff. <laughs> this guy. Uh. I mean, he is fatiguing faster than me. Don't think the dominate matters that much. Red also doesn't matter, so we'll just grab Spire. See if we find something. That's blue Spire. I'll leave another frailty on top, I think. I think I'm okay with both of these on top. Dang it. I always, no, this is fine, because I'm gonna draw the, I always forget about the ponder. Like, I keep setting up the top of my deck for... I keep setting up the top of my deck for... what's it called? Uh, 
uh, for the first card of my next hand, but it's the other way around. Okay, so this is good infecting arrow. So, and I want, do I want the lace on the following turn? I think I'm going to start sending the lace to the bottom because I want to make sure I have the buffs in second cycle. Oops. Went to Azalea first. Here we pay. Looking for buffs right now for this next hand, I think. Maybe this will hit, hopefully. Yeah, because he can only block one from hand, one from arsenal. Okay, no riptide trigger on that. Ah, uh, riptide trigger on that. Interesting that he didn't pay, which makes me think that one of these is, or neither of them is in blue, otherwise he would have paid. So I'm not super happy with my stack right now. How many codexes of frailty have I played? I've played one, another went to the bottom. Um, I think I'm just going to play the knock. That's all my arrows left? That's not a lot of arrows left. I want to get the remorseless out of deck. Sure, I'll put a name. Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to put a name counter on it. That actually is relevant, because now I don't have a resource to pay for the crew traps. Actually, he can't play a crew trap against me, because those can only come from Arsenal. Uh, this is the first game, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm navigating against a Riptide. The question is, I don't think I use my Rain Razors for damage here. That's what I was afraid of. Let's give him six. Lost one red arrow to that exchange, which I'm not happy about, but... Um, I feel like I'm probably not going to be able to push this over the top, but we'll try. Yeah, Riptide's interesting. Um, this guy's just block dot deck right now, which is interesting. I will try and raise her over the top here. real good did I I thought I bottomed that oops uh, I think I'm okay just taking the six here I've seen a lot of traps so far and I'm actually a bit worried about fatigue because I'm only a couple of cards ahead of them Nice, I saw that in the uh, Discord. Congrats. Uh, what Blitz list did you play? I'm 
I'm just going to do the 14 damage here and try and leak some stuff through. Okay, it's a little bit annoying. Interesting that he plays the rock slide. Uh, no, I will take the damage there. Wait. Why don't I have go again? Oh. He made it go minus three, so I lost go again. Nice. All right, then I should have paid. Mm, spire sniping's fine in Arsenal. Got it. See, I, I didn't understand that line fully. Okay, we want the infecting. Yeah, we're going to burn the hand for the infecting. And I think I'm okay with Deadeye going to the bottom. Yeah, because Bolton loses it, it because he dropped the power down to four. And it's really good from him. So as far as my second cycle and what's left in my deck, I do still have another rain. I believe I'm down two of my red boltons, or was that all three? Looks like... Oh, duh. My third one's in my hand. <laughs> um, I did knock, and then I don't think I've pitched one recently, which means I should be coming up on my next rain soon. So the goal here is to disrupt Arsenal this bolton shot. He's down all of his CNCs. Yeah, so hopefully I can set up a really large turn with uh, ideally drawing a Rain, Bolton, and Bullseye Bracers. So that's the plan, at least. Uh, is it worth, I think because we're like, we're concerned about temp, uh, fatigue, I think this is worth giving a card for two extra damage. Like I'm sacrificing the bolt and shot arsenal, but it forces two extra damage. Oh, collapsing trap is a good card. I don't really want to deal with it. So I think I just killed the collapsing. Yeah. Cause if like he pitches that for later. And it comes up on my, uh, actually, yeah, just in general. If he gets to trigger that because of the fatigue, like, or because of fatigue is rough. I'm going to put Bolton Shot at the very bottom of the deck. Because I want to try and get the Rain Razors down there. Yeah, my Janice Pang. Which means the last card is Heat Seeker. Which means there's no D-Rex in Arsenal right now. Which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to pitch the second arrow. Neither of these are great. Yeah, I'm not as alien in one of them. So I'll just leave them both like that. Uh, no, he's not gotten to use the second arsenal yet. And we're just going to do this. Unfortunately, I'm putting these two cards in between the 
or right after the e-strike um bolton shot which means that i don't actually have any buffs coming up right after the bolton shot so that's a little concerning but it might mean that i get to play out that hand arsenal the bolton shot and the goal is to get the rain raisers in this following cycle Um, the prognosticate, or, what am I, what card is that? Premeditate? I think that's a wizard card that I named. Uh, premeditate doesn't really matter here, because the ponder token doesn't make a big deal. It's more I'm just trying to pull cards out of his hand right now. Right, isn't that a wizard card? Let's check. Yeah, prognosticate. I don't know why I, said, <laughs> I don't know why I named a random wizard card. <laughs> but yeah, he's realizing that fatigue is a concern as well. Come on. Exactly. So again, he's got a Heat Seeker in Arsenal, which means if he gives me like three cards, he can like pitch to fire Heat Seeker. And I've, I've got to find a bit of a balance here between... Normally I'd use my health to make sure that I can kill him. However, it is Riptide, and I don't want to just die to Riptide text. At some point, so I do have to be a little bit careful on that heat seeker, uh, potentially letting it hit. He said he's thinking, so I'm not gonna. Not going to take my win. But yeah, I definitely think there's something off on my current list, and I'm not 100% sure what it is. It, it feels a little bit like the spike turns are crazy, like they feel real good, but the bad turns have felt real bad, because I just, like not having the rebels, not having the sigils, I do still have E-Strike, but like... I don't know, the middling turns feel, or the clunky hands feel clunkier than they used to, and the good hands feel better than they used to. And so you got to find a balance between still having that spike potential, but not, like, ruining my average turns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the thing, is I don't think any of the cards in particular are feeling bad. Yeah, I don't think any of the cards feel particularly bad, it's just they haven't felt quite as good as I'd like. Yes, there's the Heat Seeker I was talking about. Sorry, I gotta think about this block and then I'll answer your question. Um, I think... No, I need to be able to load... Yeah, I can't really afford to give up any of this. We're just gonna take it. That's a rough one to give him. I'm gonna have so much opt this turn. Man, where's this Rain Razors?
Um, cards that are feeling the most awkward. Uh, Barbed Undertow has felt very underwhelming, and I think that's partly because I just haven't played in the matchups where it's good. And, like, that's fine. Tripwire. No, I don't need to pay for Tripwire. E-Strike is interesting. This is really interesting. Makes me... Um, any cards performed like I think this is like the best one of the better performing cards in it also same with Spire Sniping hey Joshua hey Dustin how's it going so we we strike five go again into a Codex of Frailty I think And we just take the raw value of Battering Bolt, I assume. And we draw an Arsenal to buff. Uh, any card? Yeah, any cards outperformed expectations? Uh, Spire Sniping has been real good. I know Captive Goat, <laughs> like half of me wants to reach out tomorrow and see if I can commission like a play set of reds and blues, but that commission probably is out of my budget. But that altar was so good, uh, and I really, really like the card, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the Azalea Sport as well, Dustfin. Um, I was afraid that they would go too heavy into aim counters, but I'm really happy with the direction they took it. I'm a little bit concerned that they might have overdone it and made Azalea a little too good. Um... But we'll have to see. But yeah, Spire Sniping and both of the Blood Rock cards are like real overperformers. Okay, so we have potential for a pretty big turn here. In which case, I want to bottom this. I mean, I think Azalea was really close before. So, probably. All right, hopefully there's not a trap that screws me over here. If not, I should be able to win from this. I always forget the names of the arrows. Yeah, Infecting Shop is a huge overperformer as well. I just call it Blood Rot Arrow. <laughs> One day I'll learn the actual name. I mean, I anticipate doing quite well with this deck. Uh, the question is just, am I going to be able to play her at the next like event that gives LL points? And I think that's actually, or after the set, it, the next one will be Richmond. So I may have to bullseye bracers in this spire sniping. The heck? Okay.
Yeah, I think I have to burn the bullseye bracers here and really hope to hit because I need the spire trigger. Spire sniping blue? I think it actually is going to have to work because I want to dead eye him. I. Yeah, this sounds about right as far as how triggers go. There's just way too much on the screen right now. Okay, so. These, it doesn't really matter because I'll be drawing them both. Yeah, also, all the ordering of like spire sniping and like codexes and stuff, like these lines are hurting my head a little bit. Yeah, and then this will be 8 dominate. Yeah, uh, I was hoping to hit a red arrow. Okay. We got there. And then, what was the deck? Like, this was my last Rain Razors. It, it was awkward, because, like, I... I was looking for it after I pitched this Bolton shot, trying to get it down there, but then I just kept digging. It looked like my Rain Razors was like all the way at the bottom at that time. Uh, no, Talshar is fine. It's blue Spire Sniping does not have an image yet. So it's completely functional as a card, it just doesn't have a picture. So I'm just playing with it as is. It shows up in chat. But that's, yeah, what it does. Um... I think I had enough damage to run him out of cards, even if I wasn't able to push that through. But being able to get the Dead Eye trigger and then the Blood Rot Pox, he would have died. Yeah, they were able to code the cards as working prior to actually having the images. Because we know what the card is, he just doesn't have a good image for it. Uh, another Riptide. I'm going to play Snaps into Riptide. I don't think I want these D-Reacts. I don't like Barbed Undertow. So I think it's something like this. Uh, I'm going to take out the Blue Toxicity. Even though I think it's good, just because there's no images, I don't want to confuse what's what. Uh, we'll try second. Yeah, new heroes are definitely getting a lot of uh, attention. Okay, we got Dreadbore and Quiver. I actually am going to leave it on top because I really don't want it next to a sink below. I think I just take the opportunity to fire for 11 while I can. He is playing exactly... Um, he's playing exactly 60 cards. I think I presented 62, and yeah, I got rewarded by expending the entire hand because this inertia trap doesn't punish me as much then, or it doesn't punish me. Okay, just for seven, no aim counter, so no actual text on that. Just arrow for seven. I guess there's an additional two if it hits. Like, I can't afford to block seven here, so. 
We will be taking it. I mean, I can play towards finding like a glide path or something. Oh, that's another thing that's hurt is I think losing yellow glide paths really hurt the consistency. Like that was a, that was something I felt when I cut them at one other point. But yellow glide paths just felt so important for consistency in this deck. And deck space is tight, so it came back out again. But yeah, I don't know. They might need to go back in. Wait. <laughs> oh no. His uh his hornet stink hit, which dealt me a damage, which turned off his own skull cap, which made my arrow hit, which turned his skull cap back on. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. Um It's annoying. I think he's getting, yeah, I can't really afford the seek and destroy. Or oh, that's, dang it, other person seek and destroy. I always get that confused when both players have seek. Spire sniping. Actually, no, we'll leave it on top. So that'll be a solid way to potentially trigger Deadeye as well as pay for Deadeye as an option. Um, and then this card in his hand should be an Endless Arrow. Okay, he blocked with it. Nice, we got two cards. Yeah, I get punished for blocking it, so I'm just not going to block. Alright, this is very good. Yeah, because Tunic's up too. Yeah, this hand's real good. Oof. This hand is real good. We're grabbing a Remorseless. Wait. No, my Remorseless are gone. We're not grabbing a Remorseless. Um, infecting shot? Yeah. Twelve dominate on damage, make a blood rot pox on damage, discard a card, or I look at his hand and take a card. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Uh... And he had to have it in Arsenal, too. If I had a Remorseless, ooh, it would have been so good. <laughs> Man. 
Uh, all right, what do we do from here? I think I have to let this hit. Oh, I was so happy with that turn. That turn was insane if you didn't have the buzzsaw. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a one of, like, I can never actually play around it. But yeah, like, that stopped the. You would have lost a card here, lost a card from hand, and taken six more damage. So he got like 15 value out of that buzzsaw trap. I don't know, one card 15s are a little absurd. Ah, beautiful eye of Ophidia, right on time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 15's the right number. Uh, actually, no, because the ponders drew afterwards. It only would have been 12. So 1 for 12 is much more fair. I'm trying it, and <laughs> this is what it does. Oh, I'm just dead. Oh, I'm just dead. Oh. Actually, no, I'm supposed to give him the eye, or I give him the red in the ledger, I think. It's no reload. Mm, that buzzsaw really hurt. <laughs> hey Aiden, how's it going? Yeah, getting a 12 value buzzsaw trap. Um, we resolve the ponder first. Yeah, not paying for that. I'm doing all right, just trying to work out the kinks in this list. No, I don't really want that. Mm, disappointing. I'm probably going to have to just bullseye bracers in this red in the ledger to maintain tempo here.
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've lost some consistency with the deck. Obviously the the highs are much higher, but Actually, is this? No, that is this. Those are fine. Shoot, I forgot the order I put them on top. Whatever. Uh, if I put the buff on top, I could have gone draw card snaps. But I couldn't remember if I put the buff or the codex on top. I had forgotten I had snaps. But luckily we should be able to pull most of his hand here. Yeah, it's weird with spoiler season being done like so early in comparison to when the set comes out. Because now we got like a couple, quite a bit of time before we get to do anything with it. Okay, taking four and seek and destroy and blood rot. I've got my tunic up. Interesting. Um. Oh, this is a line I hadn't looked at before. But I can put this on top, choose not to reload. Play out my buffs. Um, the aim counters do come up. Yeah. Somewhat frequently. I want to put the remorseless back in deck, but now I, I already knocked the arrow on top, and I don't have a card left to discard. Hey Jonathan, how's it going? But in this case, had I had extra resources, I would have been able to. But now I'm going to be able to fire 11 Dominate. Yeah, exactly, Joshua. I've got plenty of time to figure out how the deck's going to work. Let's see if this is enough. And if it hits at all, he would end up dying at the end of his next turn. Oh, actually, yeah, he can't direct from Arsenal because I put uh he put a death touch in Arsenal. Yeah, that matchup's weird. Again, Riptide decks are very unrefined right now, so it's hard to gauge exactly what a matchup looks like. But if you didn't have a twelve value Buzzsaw trap, I feel like that goes a lot better. Uh, no, Wesley. So I played Knock the Death Whistle before. I played Knock the Death Whistle prior to the Codex. So I put the arrow I wanted on top, played out my buffs, then I played the Codex to load an arrow, nothing left to discard. I think we're going to run like that. I mean, this deck is very similar in ratios to what it was before. Let's see if he'll give me the mirror. I'm pretty sure he's playing my list.
Rip. <laughs> All right. All right, dash. Dash should be interesting. Uh, inertias and rock slides don't do much. I mean, he knew who I was. So it was probably a combination. I'm going to run a slim 60 and try and aggro it down. <sighs> this card, every time I've put it in, has felt underwhelming. We're going to try without it. Again. I think it's going to be really good into, like, Icelander and Guardians, but... Outside of that, I'm just not convinced. Okay, we got Pounder. I don't know. It, it's. I think it's just way too early to know against Riptide. Like, we're what? Like we've known his hero text <clears throat> for what? A, two days or something. Yeah, I don't think that's a fair amount of time. Um, yeah, Droma is interesting because I've cut Rebels, which I think makes the Droma matchup a lot worse. I want to see if I can find a way to fit them back in. The issue is I've increased my pitch a reasonable amount to be able to accommodate the aim counters, uh, one cost buffs, and like battering bolts and stuff. Which means Rebels average damage obviously goes down. So yeah, I'm... I want to fit Rebels back in, and I want to fit Yellow Glide Path back in, because those are both just consistency tools. Like, they, they aren't like incredible cards on their own, but they just add consistency. So I think it's worth, but I don't know, deck space is just so tight. When I was making this list, I came up with a stack of like 150 cards. And I had to narrow it down to 80. <laughs> because we got so many good cards out of this new set. That I just took like my old list and added like 70 new cards that are potential. And I had to figure out what 70 to cut. But yeah, I think, I think Riptide has potential. I know right when Uprising came out, there were people who were saying that Icelander was, like, unplayable, didn't do enough damage, uh, disruption just wasn't enough, and all that good stuff. And obviously we know where Icelander is now, now that people have t had time to learn the deck, to refine the deck, to improve on the deck. Like, I think it, first impressions might not be as accurate as we'd like to think. Um... I think I'm just blocking this out. Like, I've got the Codex of Frailty in Arsenal. So I'm not a huge... Or I'm not against just giving him cards here. And just playing the Codex of Frailty for 4 free damage. Was a pretty big turn from him, though. I don't want that in Arsenal. So I do have to be a little bit careful. He's probably going to grab back a Pulse Wave. Granted, the Pulse Wave will come in for three, but that doesn't change the fact that the Pulse Wave text will be annoying. Uh... 
Uh, they grabbed Courier. Interesting. The new cards are very powerful. Um, I don't think I have, like, I don't know. I think I'm missing a lot on the new deck. This list feels rather unrefined, and I'm trying to figure out where the issues are. I think part of it is that I, I took out a lot of, like, consistency cards in order to add higher ceiling cards. So, like, my good turns are so much better than they ever were before. But, obviously, a consistency drop is not where you want to be. So, I'm still trying to sort all of that out. Courier comes in for six, uh, for five, because of the frailty. Unfortunately, do need to stop that. So this blocks eight, yeah. Then I'll probably take the remainder of the turn. Hey, Ethan, how's it going? I saw that you uh, have some a Riptide stream planned for tomorrow. I'm excited to see what you've come up with. Eh, the VOD will be there afterwards, Ethan. You can go to bed if you need. Uh, cross wrap plus sand, uh, spire sniping is going to mess with my head consistently for quite some time. Okay, so I want to Azalea in the infecting shot. Question is, do I want E-Strike on the top or bottom? I think I want the E-Strike on the top, which means we put the E-Strike, then the Infecting Shot, then we leave that on top. Yes. And we can pay for the aim counter. And just fire it. There was actually a conversation to not pay for the aim counter and burn the snaps here. So it goes five into snaps, death dealer, tunic. But I think I'll play it a little safer. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out these new Azalea cards. That's what I was afraid of. Actually, this is link two, so I can just show him three blocks. <laughs> yeah, Riptide will be super interesting. Um... Yeah, I'm very curious how it'll play out. So I'm taking a lot of damage here. We'll see if it ends up being worth it. He's on 20. I don't know. Let's see if this pays off. No, I, I think our cart quality is way too high to be considering that. Okay, premeditate. So we do that.
I mean, this might just be like a dominated Red in the Ledger turn. Leak some damage, set up the next turn. Oh, I was not supposed to do that. Oops. That was a mistake. I was supposed to E-Strike go again first. Yeah. Blue Spire sniping. Uh, yeah, sorry. I... I always play it a little more zoomed out. Hopefully that helps. Um, I think I'm just going to take this turn slow, because he'll be on an off turn, and then I'll look for a big... Uh, yeah, I'll look for a big turn here. This is a little too big. There we go. Yeah, no problem. Wait, did they like just upload Spire Sniping? Because these are both Spire Sniping blues, and one has an image, the other doesn't. Huh. Aww. Block with the one that has an image. I'm still unsure on the new legendary. Okay, so this we go. Draw a card snaps. Uh, it's possible, Siegel Eve. I haven't delved very much into Blitz, it's not a format I play very often. So it's tough to say if that's something I'm going to do, but it's definitely a possibility. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I could do 8 Dominate. Or sorry, eight, just 8. We could E-Strike, Bottom, Lace, 5 into 6. I think it's just got to be the E strike line, unfortunately. Crap. This first, then this, then this. But yeah, I think I think we're not quite getting there. They've had some really, really high damage turns, and mine just haven't quite been there. Part of the concern is that I have a blue Bolton on top. This really ain't the hand. I mean, I guess Codex of Frailty goes pretty far. Uh, does he have a zero cost boost? I can't risk it here, so we'll just do this. does have the zero cost boost. So I am able to take two cards back, which is nice. Having the ponder is actually kind of awkward though.
because he's going to have to go to one card in hand, ideally. Yeah, and losing the cross wrap was rough there, but I, I couldn't risk him having the zero cost in Arsenal. So he did pick a zero to 60 for Arsenal, which will come in for three because of the frailty. Yeah, that's fair, Siegel. Um, the time commitment for CC events is just a lot longer. But yeah, we should be able to take two cards here. We'll get an arsenal, and then if it's like an um, an item that was drawn, it should only be able to be 0 to 60 into pistol, which takes two of my cards, potentially only one because of the tunic. Uh, yeah, did they clarify something on codex rules yet? Or is it actually turn player picks, then opposing player picks? Simultaneous reveal at the same time? I don't know. It's... I don't know. Uh, I'm curious what they'll rule. But Talishar is making me pick, then the opponent pick. But yes, it, it, it is supposed to show. And here's where I hope I don't draw an Eye of Ophidia to put in the arsenal for Ponder. Because that'll be awkward. Yeah, their first few turns were crazy. Like, I took 9 damage after blocking 4 cards. This was like a 20 plus damage turn. This was a 20 damage turn. This was like a 15 damage turn. Like... I took so much damage, even blocking six cards, I took 36 or whatever. Yeah, I took 36 damage over three turns, even when blocking with six of my cards. So it's been, it's been tough clawing back into this, but I think I'm going to be able to, I think I'm going to be able to get back to, or get it. Oh, Codex of Frailty, don't mind if I do. Was that the right card? Whoops. No, that was the wrong block. Um, I think you were thinking of a previous turn. There's no reason to heart here. Is this better as red or remorseless? I think it's remorseless. Because like if he lets it hit, he can only play like one action. Or if he does only play one action, like if he blocks three cards for nine and then plays one action, he dies. So he has to give me four cards on the remorseless. He is able to play d from Arsenal, but I have no idea on what the new Fabled's going to be, but I really, really hope that it's a reprint of something similar to Command & Conquer. <sighs> uh... Okay, we drew the knock. <laughs> Yeah, Fabled E-Strike would be sick. Um, this choice doesn't matter too much. 
and just do an infecting shot. Yeah, I've always said that I was like mid in this deck. But I don't know, it just it puts you in some weird situations when you draw it at the wrong time. This game was crazy. Like I was so far behind here. It was like twenty to it was like twenty to four at this point or something. Yeah, because I went to two. It was twenty to four. Uh at this stage in the game. And I was able to crawl back into it. Like he had some really nasty turns. Yeah, which actually getting there from four against a dash with a pistol is really awkward. Uh, Sam asked for a game, so I just sent him the invite. Hmm. Barbs come out. This comes out. I'm gonna take out I. Uh, and I take second in this matchup. What's the last thing that comes out? Oh, should be two more. I have no idea. I'm just gonna play 62. Bonds for four. Yeah, it didn't have go again, so I'm just going to leak the one and make sure I have a play next turn. Man, it's not the card I want. I'm going to leave it, though. It's a solid block. Uh, and so it begins. This man playing reinforce the line. Okay. Ugh. This gonna hurt. Be like water. Doesn't do anything.
seems like his draws off of Mask and Whelming were not good. Mm -hmm. Hand's not good, but we'll make do. Looking for what ends up in the arsenal of the Ponder. Seems good to me. <laughs> I think I think this hand says let him send it I could be wrong I think this hand lets him send it Oh no, I'm going to lose my hero text, aren't I? This hand is really good, but I feel like I'm losing my hero text. <laughs> Can I win without my hero text? Oh no, no, no. Oh, he's using his on hit or er, his on play text. Luckily, there's no dishonor in the discard. He's getting a blue whelming. I think I have to give him this yeah I can't really afford to let uh sure that's fine We're chill. Sink is not the card. Seek is not the card. Actually, Seek would have been a fine card. Man, I wish I had drawn a one cost arrow at all of this game. <laughs> It's only been Bolton shots and drill shots for arrows. I think I'm fine still playing the codex. Because he's going to have to discard. And he's been hit by seek and destroy. Yeah, he's been hit by seek and destroy. So he's just going to grab like a zero for four. He has me. Um, I don't think Boulder Trap is good in this matchup. Into... What's it called? Into like the Guardians, it's really good. Into like Dory, it's really good. It's good into Fi. But like Katsu doesn't have great armor for us to hit. So 
So he's going to E strike back for six. Oh, there's a one cost arrow. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to assume he blocks this fully, so I'm not banking on the ponder here. Like, he gets punished really hard if he doesn't block this fully. Yep. It's a good card. Nice, there's the infecting shot, which means we go that and that. No, that's the wrong order. Uh, okay, so I want to send the Seeking Destroyer to the bottom because I'm going to go empty on this hand, which means I want an arrow potential on top. So I put this underneath, then the Seek, then I glide, send the Seek to the bottom, then I Azalea. And then, yes, I pay. No, I would have drawn the Seek off of the Ponder from the... Whatever. Not going back. <laughs> uh... Oh, this is actually annoying. All of these two-card hands are good. All of these two-card hands are good, right? Kadachi, Kadachi, Snatch. Hundred Winds, Snatch. Hundred Winds, Wins. I think I care the least about this. It's still seven, but I don't have to block it on hit. Oh, and I picked right, because now I get to inertia him. Actually, that doesn't matter, never mind. Yeah, that was a... That was a play. But yeah, like, the spire sniping plus other opt stuff just, like, hurts my head. Interesting, he's going to use the Tunic resource to pay for the Blood Rot. Yeah, Spire is insane. I am a very big fan. Mm hmm. It's going to be six. Uh, 
Uh, hopefully there's no flick flack, but the nice part is if he does have a flick flack, he has to overblock this. And then it's going to be bracers into drill shot. Uh, lace for eight, which should connect, and he should probably die. Oh yeah, he's dead. I mean, I guess he could go to one, but he's basically dead. Yep, yeah, nope, he's dead. <laughs> Minus three on mask. He got two mask draws that game. <laughs> He got a whelming plus mask draw. Um, I do want to keep the that all you got. So I think the boulders and inertia should be out. I don't know why I had inertia in there. Yeah, that poor mask with the minus three on it. Barbed and battering bolts. Actually, I'm going to keep one battering in. Aww. We didn't find one. Oh, well, we'll just leave him on top. I'll just fire for eight. He is going for the... Oh, actually, no, I didn't have control over leaving him on top or not. Yeah, blood pox is crazy strong. I'm in danger. I mean, knocking a barbed is good, just maybe not as good in this matchup. Man. He's already triggered Katsu. If I can, like, I'll take the breaking scales, yeah. I don't, I didn't think he would actually use breaking scales there. Bolton's fine on top. And we'll just pull probably a, a card and the equipment. Okay. Bit of a rough start. I think we're going to be okay. All right, Spire, I believe. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have believed. Uh, this is actually fine. So we can codex. <laughs> oh, this is dumb, actually. Okay. Remembering the order. I want Codex actually on top. So E Strike, Codex. Then we just play out all our buffs. Then we get to end with an E Strike. Oh, 
Awkward hand turned into 13 with an arsenal threatening three major on hits. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh, look, don't mind if I do. Oh, poor Seb. Premeditate. I mean, I could just do the same thing with the frailty. Right? Oh, there's a couple of lines here with the codex. That'd be like, E-Strike, go again, bottoming blood rot, pitch, dead eye, load Bolton shot, premeditate, fire for five. Five, five, five? I think five, five, five sounds good. Yeah, f 15 in an arsenal, like, it was an awkward hand where I have to fire a blue, but it's still 4 card 15, like. The unfortunate part is that premeditate is currently not working properly. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter too much, because I would have had it, just had a second ponder. Oh, sweet, an arsenal of Bolton Shot. I think this is just too many buffs, or too many Bolton shots. I need to find something with more substance for this turn. I guess it's just going to be 7-7 seven, seven Arsenal, probably. And just is a little bit weird. Oh, oh, pausing. Aw. If that was an arrow, it would have been wonderful. Um, but I think... No, I'm... I don't like this, but I'm going to go empty. I know. It, that was so close. Like, And I had the floating resource to pay for the... Or floating resource plus tunic if I hit it. Like, I've found the arrow on top. They just, like, win the game. Because then this dead eye triggers. It's so good. Alright, I'm slightly scared for this next turn. Uh, blood rot. I like damage. Interesting. He's very tight on cards to where he decided to take four more damage instead of getting one extra resource, or instead of at the cost of losing one resource on the next turn. Oh. Oh no. Hmm. 
guess there's no reason to block that. Yeah, I keep using Deadeye as like a, as a no block. Oh, he had the bombs. Oh no, this is going to hurt. Did he have a Dishonoring Grave? Because he's going to go Dishonor for... It's going to be Dishonor and 100 wins. This is a nasty turn. I do have to give him 6 here, though. Right? I have to give him six again? Can I give up my hero text here, actually? Like, unironically, can I give up my hero text here? I think this is wrong, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so bad. I love how, what they did. They put the Dishonor over my hero. I just wanted to see the Dishonored hero, honestly. All right, I'm going to draw Ivo Fidia now. Yeah, I think I lose the game from this point <laughs> without my hero text. Not going to lie. Um... Yeah, if only we could pinpoint the point in the game where I lost all ability to pressure. Huh. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. Let's look at all these cards on top that I can't do anything with. Mm, that, that, and then bottom. <laughs> this game is a lot more fun now that I, I got Dishonored. Left a red in the ledger on top, and I should be able to clear that all you got out of Arsenal. Yeah. weird when you build a deck around your hero text and then you don't have your hero text anymore it feels bad uh never ha mind this hand is kind of good Oh, if he drew into the razor. Oh, this hand. Oh, this hand is so absurd. 
Oh. Oh, this hand is great. Neither of these cards are good. I mean... Oh, I loaded the wrong arrow. Oh, that was... That was a bad mistake. Oh, that was a really bad mistake. It was supposed to be the yellow, because then we go 5-7 instead of 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, 5-7 would have been way better. Oh no, I was supposed to leave the Codex of Frailty on top. Yeah, I was supposed to leave the Frailty on top in case he blocked out. Still learning this deck. Also, I can't arsenal this because <laughs> I don't have a hero ability. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Wish I had hero attacks. Oh no. Eh, cross wrap doesn't matter at this point. Pause champ. I'll play for the buff draw. Make him respect it. Yeah, it turns out Azalea Hero Text is pretty good. Yeah, uh, if I left the Codex of Frailty on top, <laughs> this would have been way better. <laughs> Weird how that works. I don't know, I just... Uh, the, like, decision tree just didn't work for me. Wait, I don't want to give him two cards, though. I mean, I can seven dominate, right? Nice. I 
I cannot seven dominate. I can five dominate. I cannot dominate. One sec. <laughs> you didn't see anything. <laughs> oh no. That line was so good if I had hero text. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. This, this feels like one that could use a VOD review or I could figure out what decision point might have made this game go poorly. <laughs> I mean, oh, I was going to say he's low on cards, but it doesn't matter. Oh, no, I should. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, need the chess bot to find the blunder. Uh, what can I even present back? Please draw bad cards. Hmm. <laughs> that is not a bad card. <laughs> I need to just get this out of Arsenal, and we'll put the blue Bolton on top. Oh no. <laughs> I can't even arsenal it. Because I don't have a hero ability. <laughs> Started to type and hit undo. <sighs> I 
All right, let's go for game three. Oh no. All right, so don't mind me. I'm going to take out I. Maybe inertia trap's fine. Yeah, we'll try inertias again. <laughs> yeah, the powerful lesson of don't get dishonored. <laughs> oh, this hand sucks. Mm, no, we'll block here. Uh, no, I do not have it in right now. Is it worth taking one damage here to make sure I hold this blue, blue arrow potential turn? I think so. Rinse your hands. Hmm. I'll never see this one coming. I don't really want to draw that. I think this will get six block. Interesting. I sent it to the bottom. I'm going to blind if he hits it. Yeah, let's put a name counter on it. I figure I should get my damage in before he kills me. I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm losing equipment this turn. bottom that. Gross. Don't care if this hits. 
hand's just bad, so I'm gonna block. Cause he had the inertia, so. Uh, Hill Breaking scales this for a draw, but I'm okay with that. Well, the... Okay. Sure. my Katsu into like 100 wins or another 100 wins or uh, wins of eternity probably I don't think you're yeah he should not be able to equip that yeah he should not be able to equip without an open slot that's a Talisher bug unfortunately Ah, gotcha. Is he listening to the stream though? Or did he just happen to know? Um I think raw red in the ledger is just better. I think I'm okay leaving that on top though. Like, ideally, this just pulls three cards and we get tempo. That's the big brain play. Start with Talishar, break it, and then equip daggers afterwards. Huge value. I feel like I'm getting CNC'd. Don't think I need that card. Show me the extender on top, please. It's not my favorite, but it works, I guess. A little bit awkward hand, but so representing 15. Ooh, this is a hand. It's not a good hand, but it is a hand. I'm in danger. Did I just give a card here to try and slow down the mask triggers? I think so.
Oh, I'm confused. All right. Is this like a rain or a razor reflex or a breeze rider boots? If he was planning on just breeze rider. Cause he chose not to trigger Katsu. Why didn't he choose to trigger Katsu when he could have grabbed another 100 wins and then this wins of eternity? I feel like that tells me something. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. Hmm. I think it's a razor. Oh, it's not a razor. Was it actually the Breeze Rider line? Yeah, it was the Breeze Rider. Blech. CNC for seven. Yeah. Oh, he had the Art of War to push it over if he needed as well. This does give him a mask draw. I, like, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. I do think I'm in a really bad spot, though. Yeah, it was like... He had the Guard of War, so he could have gone up if I blocked five. He would have been able to go over and then still trigger Breeze Riders. Honestly, that could have been more punishing. That's fine on top. I'm going to just pitch the sink for later if it happens to come up. But this is just, it's just red, right? Oof. Had the flick flat. It's not great. Does he have the natural whelming? Quite possibly. Can I play around the natural whelming? No. That's brutal. Need to find a D React. Luckily, this should pull at least two cards, hopefully. 
And we've given him a frailty token, so like I'm not Kadachi locked because of it. But losing my cross drop last turn was rough. Oh, he has another D React. Okay, good. Get it Ardvor defensively to block this. It's really good for me. He might still only give me one card. He's going to give me one and go to one. He's going to have the Razor. So, gross. Where are my d -reacts? Oh, I guess I only had the one left for the inertia trap as well. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think my hands lined up very well. Fifty damage? It's a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I don't like in the list right now. Fifty two is a big number. Yeah, I don't know. The... Matchup felt rather difficult. But yeah, I do... I definitely think that there's some issues with this current list, and I'm trying to pinpoint what they are. Yeah, your five card hands are terrifying. <laughs> uh, I think I've played five games this stream. I went 1-2 against Sam, and then 2-0 against other people. But as far as the deck itself... Um, this hasn't updated the second Katsu loss. But it's been going pretty well. Second Katsu loss should get added soon. Uh, Katsu's way scarier than Brett. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I just built, I made another private lobby and was waiting for someone to join. 
Um, find someone else's lobby. We'll go second. I do like the inertia trap in the mirror. I think it's something like this. He's probably out. I don't know, let's try this. Yeah, toxic mirror, let's go. <laughs> Man, no one wants to play the mirror against me. Let's see if this person will... This is someone different, right? Boulders, that all you got. But... Good enough. Yeah, Premeditate's such a good card. It's going to be one of those games. I think this is fine, though. I'm definitely going to start off on the back foot, but I think it'll be manageable. Yeah, Blood Pox is real good. I think the plan into Brute is the same as before. Just play a mid-range game plan. We just do more damage now. I don't know. The deck feels less disruptive. Oh, yeah. The art, on, the art in general in the new set I'm not a huge fan of. They also, wait, why are there 72 cards in deck? And f... They're at 76 cards plus 6 equipment. That's an 82 card deck they presented. Interesting. Last I checked, 80 is slightly more than, or 82 is more than the legal amount. I also don't think Remorseless is the pick here. Should have just been read in the ledger. No, it's not. Yeah, I really like the art on Crow's Nest. I can't wait till we get the cold foil. Yeah, we've seen the cold foil riptide quiver, so I'd be very surprised if we didn't get the cold foil azalea quiver at some point. Uh, as much as I don't like using this rain razors, I'm just going to cast it. Okay, now the rain razors is really good, especially since it gave an inertia as well. And now he can't just arsenal.
bolt and shot will do. Looking for an arsenal target here. It's not a great arsenal target. Um, I guess I could have left it on top. Because I can just take the reload here. Yeah, the red and the ledger should have stayed on top. Somehow in my mind I thought I was going to death dealer. But I'd rather just arsenal this inertia. This is a hand. Yeah, this is probably going to be my perch grapplers. Yeah, this will be my Perch Grapplers, Inertia, and probably Remorseless. Drill Shot? I think the draw my matchup is still going to be really bad. I don't know that anything is going to change that. I've seen some people say you can race better with just the raw damage, but I'm skeptical. I think we've lost a or at least I've taken out Rebels, so yeah, um, yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, no Sleep Dart in the list, no Rebels in the list. Sick. We're letting this hit? Nah. Um. Man, I wish premeditate worked. It'd feel much better if I could premeditate successfully. So normally this would trigger premeditate and I would get my ponder and this would be real good. Yep, premeditate is oh actually never mind, he's gonna block it. Um premeditate is only triggering on the first attack for the uh draw. Read it. I think this is probably correct because he has no direct and or he has no potential direct in Arsenal. We've seen two take aims. Oh, this is actually really interesting here. Nah, never mind. Yeah, Lexi definitely plays. Oh, premeditate. Yes, I think so. I think she will.
Um, I don't think you can stack Seek and Destroy with Ponder correctly, but you can stack Inertia and Ponder. Hopefully my opponent comes back. This turn was debatable. I think I was actually going to go for a red Bolton shot. Yeah. So I think this line actually would be red Bolton shot, play lace, fire red Bolton shot, seven dominate into Codex, into um, the Drill Shot. Yeah, because it ends up being minus one damage on the first arrow, plus one damage on the, or then four extra damage on the second arrow, so three extra damage and an arsenal. So it's like six extra value on this line as opposed to the Red and the Ledger, which... Oh no, no, yeah, yeah, same. No, because the lace he would be able to pay into under Red and the Ledger quite often. So I think I go for that line. I don't know, it's something that I'm still trying to figure out with the new lists. I'm on private again. I currently have 11 in the list. I'm still trying to find that balance. It's felt pretty good, but... Yes, Shamir, that's how you're supposed to. Uh, we we're speaking about on Talishar. I think it's broken still. Last I checked, you were not able to stack them properly. But in practice, you will be able to. Which they fixed. It didn't used to work at all for Ponder and Inertia. It was kind of just always happened. I think Inertia was always triggering after Ponder, which was annoying, but they fixed that. Yeah, they integrated it for all the new things with the new set. So, Inertia, Blood Rot, and Ponder, you can order how you want. So, like, you can draw off Ponder to try and pay into Blood Rot, or you can send inertia before you draw for ponder. That's all integrated properly. Just seek and destroy is another one that they gotta work on. But they're getting close. It's nice seeing the progress each day. Let's try first this time. I mean, we can complain, we just shouldn't complain. Man, why do I gotta draw ranger hands? Hmm. Yeah. Yes, so actually at the start of the stream I played against two Riptides. 
So those were the first two games of this stream. Um, I played against Azuri, but I believe those were all off stream. Don't do it. Don't do the E-strike. Point the tip is interesting. It's just, it's really awkward because you can't play it unless you have an arrow in Arsenal, face up in Arsenal, which means you get put in awkward situations with Codex of Frailty, uh, and you also get put in awkward situations with... Um... Sorry, I'm leaving both of these on top, right? Yeah. Let's try this. Yeah, you get put in awkward situations with Azalea Opt and Ability. You get put in awkward situations with Codex of Frailty. And you get put, you like can't arsenal at the end of your turn with it if you draw it off like Ponder. So unfortunately, I think it, while it has a reasonable ceiling, I think its potential to whiff is just a little too high. I think we're pretty far from figuring out how to make uh, Riptide work. Doesn't feel like it's, yeah, it doesn't feel like people are figuring it out yet. Uh, what am I doing on this block? I think I'm okay just taking one to save my tunic resource. But yeah, I still don't think point the tip is going to be playable. Its ceiling just isn't high enough for the risk, or like its floor is real, real bad. Um, oh yeah, sorry, but what I was saying about Riptide is like, I think he's interesting. I'm not sure how good he actually is going to be, but I think there's a lot of potential there. Um, a lot of people are saying that they don't think he's very good right now. But people said the same thing about Icelander on release. So I'm skeptical when people say that it's bad or unplayable or something. I think I think there's probably going to be something there. <laughs> yeah, the zero zero one one bracket for Riptide. Um, I think I'm just going to let this connect... And just play the sink. Yeah, trench just doesn't do what is. Well, the value in trench in other decks, like Riptide or Lexi, would be to get bad cards out of your arsenal. The issue is that Azalea already has a way to get bad cards out of your arsenal. That's your hero ability. And the fact that Trench doesn't work on face-up cards means you can't cross-wrap op to look. So then, if you can't use your cross-wrap and you can't use Azalea, if you want to use Trench, it just feels really bad. And whenever you activate Trench, you're trading your arsenal for one resource, which is very is comparable to like pitching a card as a red card. And pitching red really isn't something you want to be doing, unless you absolutely have to. On the flip side, you have Tunic, which, being able to use Tunic resource, saves you pitching an entire card most of the time. So every third turn, you get like an extra card off Tunic, whereas Trench lets you trade your arsenal for a resource. Yeah, I agree, Neo. It's like, sweet. Now I don't have to block with my cross wrap anymore. Yeah, I was messing around with some Riptide earlier, um, prior to the stream. And I think there's something there with like an aggressive list. Because his, his, like you said, the first part of his text is really powerful. It's just figuring out how to kind of make that work. 
and like your right ratios and sequences. But I think the first half of Riptide's text is really powerful. Just for seven, yeah, that's fine. I don't need seven health. The problem is 14 always hits, right? So I get the ponder. So did I go E-Strike into 11? The problem is E-Strike's going to eat the Premeditate. I don't know. Oh no, it's not going to eat the Premeditate because I played it from hand. Yeah, I'm looking forward to... Uh... Mansant stream. He says he's figured something out, so we'll see if he's right. But yeah, we're gonna go five into eleven here. Actually, premeditate should make the ponder token here, right? Wait. Why did it not make a ponder? Where's my ponder? That was my first attack action played. Or the first time an attack action hit this turn. Okay, now it made the ponder, even though that was the second time. Whatever. We still got our ponder. <laughs> yeah, it looks like premeditate is just using the buff as only on the next attack you play from arsenal it gets both lines of text um 11 dominate seek and destroy lace gross all right, hear me out, guys. Is this a Perch Grappler's turn? I think this is a Perch Grappler's turn. I don't know if it's actually good, but I think I'm going to go for it. Man. Card sucks. I believe in drawing an arrow off the top. <laughs> because I is a very pretty card, and it's one of my favorite arts in the game. And I own one, and I want it to be good in the deck. It's just not good in the deck every time I've played it. But maybe something will click, and it'll be good all of a sudden. Like, if I draw another arrow, this becomes a 21 damage turn-ish. Arrow. Damn it. Whatever. True, Neo. True. Yeah, just, just draw it instead of seeing it on top, even though I see a bajillion cards on top. Yeah, it's just... I think with the amount of cards you see on top, it's like half the time you'll see it on top and half the time you'll draw it, roughly. Uh, this looks like a bullseye bolt and shot turn. Wait, he gave me six? 
Don't mind if I do. Uh, I believe... Oh, this is not a good hand. Hey. I could block with equipment in order to proc the inertia trap. I don't know if that's the play, but it is a play. We're just going to give him a couple cards because his hand not good. Yeah, we're just going to play the red. Set up the Bolton shot. Yeah, I don't know. The uh, no buff or no arrow hands are still feeling rough. I think I think Ranger's going to be quite good and limited. I think Widowmaker seems like a real strong card in limited. And it's at a common rarity. It feels like it's going to be... <laughs> it's a really good card in limited. So I'm... I'm expecting good things out of it. Um, I guess I could just sink. I don't really want to sink. I want to cross wrap into something in Dead Eye. Mm. This is fine. Yeah. Yeah, it is really interesting, Shamir. Like, Widowmaker being insane and limited, but then at the same time being unplayable and constructed just off the way it's worded. Okay, I'm gonna get an Inertia and a Boulder Trap. That's fine. Is this guy playing my list? I think this guy's just playing my list. Nice. Although, I think they should be on Perch Grapplers in this matchup. Obviously, it didn't pay off for me this game. I had to pay for my go again, but... See, that's the hard part. Everyone, like, wants to play my list right now, but I don't actually know that my list is good. <laughs> it's, uh, it is one of the lists of all time. This is kind of gross. Oh, yeah, I guess that is one of the issues in Limited. Yeah, one of the big issues that we're going to have in Limited is the fact that we don't actually have Death Dealer. <laughs> Honestly, that might be why they didn't print Death Dealer. Yeah, he's dead. Because he has to discard his card now. Uh, 
Um, it didn't matter because I could opt afterwards anyways. But yeah, technically, I technically get slightly more information if I opt first. Yeah, because that is one nice part about frailty is it always loads it face down, so then you can cross drive afterwards. Uh, I think I have one more game in me. I should really remove I, but I really like it's a pretty card. It's weird. I'm, I'm not sure if I should be in competitive or, or regular, but I don't like playing new cards in competitive. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue, is that I think Death Dealer would be busted in Limited. I think there was an argument for Death Dealer, or for Azalea being one of the better heroes, if not the best hero in Arcane Rising for Limited, and the arrows in Arcane Rising are garbage. But, like, I think it's between Azalea and Viserai. Okay, sweet. We get to try Oldham. This, I'm actually very curious to see how it goes. We're going to try the Vambraces. Okay, I got a Boulder Trap. We'll just go for the blind, see if see what we find. Oh, the first effect of Vambrys. Okay, so I'm playing this without gloves. Got it. Oops. At least I can block with it. <laughs> Because that's what I really wanted. That does not seem like the play from my opponent. Giving me a red staunch on turn zero? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Okay, this is... This is a game. <laughs> Huh. Man, neither of those are good. Yeah, this will be interesting. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't find an arrow on top to get the dead eye proc. Um, I'm actually quite unhappy about this knock. I mean, so, the thing about Spire is if it whiffs, you wanted to find something on top, so, like, it wasn't there. You just get to see that it wasn't there, so you don't even have to get tricked into trying to find it, is kind of the way I look at it. 
All right, we're greeting. We're greeting. I believe. We're going to find it. Don't mind if I do. Any time walkers in chat? <laughs> Any time walkers in chat? <laughs> Man, if only I had released the tension too. And like, I'm gonna play out the last card because I'll just get uh, ice reacted otherwise. That's an arrow. I think this is cyberbullying. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him have the double red staunch and stop it. Oh no. Oh no. He's got the double respite. Okay, that was not as good as I anticipated. Oh well. Yes, there was that bug earlier, but I think it might be fixed now. I'm not actually sure, though. But it seemed to be working. I think it was fixed, actually, yeah. We'll just come in for nine. It's not great, but... Hopefully it'll let me set up another turn. This is a situation where... Oh, actually, I guess Crown won't be activated. So no use in BAM races. Yeah, they put in blue Spire sniping. They didn't have the image for it before. Interesting pitching blizzard. Oh, nice, Shamir. I'll have to take a look. I don't really want to use it rain right now. So we're going to burn a knock for a, another barbed, I think.
And I think I'm also going to go empty here. Because if he has the ice react, there would be no reason for him not to. I've seen people talk about cutting it, but I think it's still powerful. Um, it still opens up opportunities for pushing stuff over the top that your opponent doesn't expect. It opens up possibilities for bolt and shot turns. I think there's some argument for cutting the blue, yellow, or blue and yellow bolt and shots as well as rain razors. That frees up a bunch of spots, but I think then you get stuck in a position where you're just playing a tall deck again. And you lose the flexibility of going wide, and I think your draw my matchup gets worse, and I think your consistency goes down. I could be wrong, but that's the uh, impression that I got from it. He had two playable blues. Ugh. Um... Uh, I'll just fire this. Yeah. I mean, so the thing is, our power level is really high right now, and I think what I need to figure out is how to lean into the most consistent uh, options as opposed to the, um, we want to find the most consistent options instead of the, like, highest ceiling options. Because our ceiling is insane. It's just that we want consistency. Uh, I want to get this barbed undertow back in deck. So I'm just going to do that. Looking for an arrow on top. It's a spinal in his arsenal, so we're just going to go like so. I think this might be a waste of my dead eye, but... I don't know. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Don't really want to play the codex. So I think I unfortunately need to do this.
Actually, that might just not be enough. I mean, I could drill shot with a dead eye, but I don't know if that actually hits. Seven dominate? No, it just doesn't hit. Might pull equipment, though. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, yeah, because it'll have an aim counter. So it gets a buff for the equipment. I don't know if it's good, but I'm going to try it. Not happy being down my third dead eye, though. Gets to block eight, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'd just per we'd pull all of his equipment. It's possible it's just Earth React as well, but like we still get equipment in a card. Hopefully. Yeah, I also think that my version probably struggles a little bit more into Oldham. Yeah, but I mean, getting all the equipment's fine. I think this is a reasonable place to be. Annoying. Can I give up a frailty? I don't know. So, all my knocks are gone, which means I probably need to start setting up the second cycle. So this Bolton shot is going to go to the bottom. This rain, ra whoops! This rain razor is going to be on the bottom. Okay, I guess the Bolton shot's going on top. <laughs> I has really been putting in work this stream. I mean, it's fine. Um, so I sandbag that turn cycle a little bit, but that's on the back of. Uh, I sandbagged this turn cycle a little bit, but it's on the back of being able to set up Rain Razor's double, or it's Rain Razor's double bolt and shot on the bottom of my deck right now. Uh, we'll put the codex down there just to try and dig faster. I want to be pitching this Bolton shot, I think, as well. I 
Oh, I don't have bullseye bracers. <laughs> well, this is a disaster. Yeah, there has not been a lot of times where I was like, wow, I want to use fan braces. I mean, I guess it would have pushed one damage here, but... Yeah, like, I just set up this nasty... I mean, there's a Codex of Frailty in there that... It's worth something. Yeah, that's fine. See, like, this is where Vambraces would be sick. But, yeah. I believe this will connect. Oops. Sure, we'll put a name counter on it. Yeah, Vambrace is not working, makes this a little awkward. Oh, he took that? So I'm getting CNC pummeled, which is actually rather annoying right now. I mean, I could just do this. No. Also, toxicity on hit worked, right? I think so. Cranial's annoying. It's just like this into this. Yeah, no gloves really, really sucks. <laughs> Ah, fused oaken. The classic. Um 
Okay, so... Do I just have to take this and hope to hold? Because it's not, it's random, right? No, I've got a block. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, da, da, da. Let's see. We're saving that. Bolt. Oh, I knew there was another Bolton shot as the next card, so it didn't matter. Uh, van braces don't work. I found out. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot it's an eye. I like I knew what was on top. I don't know why I'm worried about it. Yeah, bugged and not working is the the situation here. It's just infecting, I guess. Yeah, I was I was all excited to try it out, and then I set up a end game stack where I need bullseye bracers, and then realized I don't have any gloves in this matchup. I have to pay to block with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, no, not particularly. Like, the issue is I don't have a great use for this. I think I got a, an Aspire sniping to the bottom. Yeah. I wish I remembered what was next in my stack. Yeah, the sad part here is like because of those Okens and actually the fact that he was able to block with his full hand against the barbed undertow for 17. That one also hurt. Um, 
I think if I if I had van braces and I played this a little better, I think there was a shot, but I yellow trapped on like turn two. Oh, he just gets a glacial. <laughs> Mm, let's get the tunic. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, the takeaway was Van Braces would have been really nice for pushing extra damage. I tried to set up a second stack that or a second cycle that required Van Braces, but I got double oaken right as I got to my stack, because he set that up. Him being able to double oasis my um barbed undertow for seventeen hurt. I think that, how much did he stop on that? I think he took like five or something. Blind Azalea into Ivophidia did not feel good. Yeah, there were just a handful of things that didn't go quite right. I think uh, it's definitely something, yeah, fine. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't think there's been one time where I pitched it. I was like, wow, the fact that this was I was great here. Every other time it's like, wow, the fact that this is I is either okay or bad. Um, oops. Let's try something like this. But yeah, something definitely feels off on this list. And... I'm not sure what the best fix is, but it has not felt great yet. Breeze Riders? Yeah. They're quite good. Yellow Flick Flack playing 64. Mugenshi for five. Go. Uh, yeah, I've definitely felt the lack of yellow glides. I'm so confused as to what this line is. Um, I think I'm going to let him hit for one. And we'll tuck that. I pitched the second yellow flick flack. Like, what is he going for? What? But like... Huh? Is he breaking scales here? Oh. Damn. I was hoping. Yeah, I think yellow glides need to go back in. I think that's a big one. Swapping out things like fatigue and sleep dart for infecting shot, like this is a ton of raw damage. It's just, I've really felt the lack of disruption. D reacts are like in an awkward spot. 
because the defense reactions have made Codex of Frailty awkward. I think those are my main main things so far. Man, this turn's going to be too low on pitch. If I want to use the knock. Maybe I can make it work. Yeah, I can make that work. One, two, three. Yeah, this is acceptable. We still just read in the ledger with the dead eye, right? Yeah, that's possible. Red Red Spires were there in theory as extra opt, kind of like to replace the yellow glides. But yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, the lack of rabbles and lack of glides has really felt... Yeah, I've noticed it. But I don't know, deck space is so tight. Um, what does he do with this hand? Oh, um, we'll just get rid of the surgeon because he's under red in the ledger, anyways. And so this gets razored. I guess I could just boulder trap him. Wait, he's just not razoring? Sure. Yeah, it is a nice looking card. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm okay with this because this hand's garbage. This probably turns my bracers into five damage. That could be. I think the blues have to stay. I think the quiver's good. I don't know. Everything just feels so different that I'm not sure if what I'm doing is good or bad. It almost feels like the crow's nest is like allowing me to push the deck in a different direction that it couldn't before, and now I'm like splitting and losing consistency. Uh, see, like Spire's insane here. No, we need more blues, and I think Blue Spire is arguably one of the strongest blue arrows. But I could see the argument for Red Spires out, and I'll probably try that as well. He 
See, like, Blue Spire was insane there. And the fact that it's, like, one of the better blues to draw in Arsenal. This guy just no-blocked? Huh. I don't think I like blue sedation. I think I'm actually just sinking this to clear the arsenal. Not proud of it, but I think I'm doing it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of sedation arrow or... I mean, yeah, not of the arrow or the... I, I guess, yeah, not the arrow in any color. The inertia buff I think is good. But the arrow on its own feels a little underwhelming. What is this guy doing? He got hit by red in the ledger. Oh, is he tunicking to pay for the blood rot? Nope. Just tunicking. Oh, I ordered that wrong. I was supposed to e-strike first. Oops. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit tired. But yeah, something definitely feels off in the deck. And I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't know. Codex, it's weird. Like, it's been so good. Sometimes it's just a yellow, but oftentimes it's just insane. Do I care if this hits? No. No. No is the correct answer. Oh, my bracers are gone. I forgot I used them already. Oops. I'm not sure what he needed the hit for there. Feels like an ambitious usage of breaking scales. Yeah, maybe I do need more. I don't know. Dex just felt weird.
yeah, I don't know. I, th I think the deck should feel a lot better than it is right now. So, I think after the stream, I'm going to go back to the drawing board and see where I think changes need to be. Yeah, definitely think Glide needs to be in there. Crane Dance. Sure, we'll give him a Bolton shot. Yeah, I imagine this should get the full 11. a red in the ledger or an infecting shot for an extra three damage uh nine dominate with on hit four extra should just kill him unless he holds back his hand so yeah i don't know a lot of my games tonight have been weird um the deck does not feel as smooth as it used to and I gotta figure out how to fix that. Because like my old list, even though the power level on it was obviously a lot lower, felt really smooth. He's gonna draw a card and hope he draws a blue? Okay. Yeah, even like these average value per turns are not actually that much. They're like comparable to what I was getting before. I did trim on opt effects because deck space was tight. And I think that's really hurt. So, yeah, I'm going to be revisiting this deck list and see what is needed. But thanks everyone for stopping by and watching. That We were sitting at like 40 to 50 viewers this entire time, which is crazy. It's uh, a lot more than I was expecting, so appreciate everyone who came by and watched and said hi. Uh, I will go back to the drawing board on this deck list, try and make some improvements, and hopefully stream again in the next day or two.
and have an updated list. All right, have a good night, everyone.